Okay, so this is Stephen Cross. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the last enemy is death. Uh, anyway, it's not really here for that, but this is a house that, you know, it was my my uh, wife at the time. It was my wife's mother-in-law and father-in-law's house. And this is where I ended up staying for a time period. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of uh, videoing and things about, uh, look like there's a, is there a lock box on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? We could come up and walk then. There's a lock box. Maybe it's for, up for sale. But this was a mother, man, my wife's mom. Oh, man, because she cook. Between her and my mom, I don't know who could cook the best. I kind of want to lean toward my, my wife's mom a little bit better because I hate to, you know, who wouldn't want to do that, right? Okay? Because you would like to make your mom better, but she actually was a better cook, I think. How you doing? <laughs> she was kind of like maybe a better cook, but this is where we stay. So I'm just letting my grandkids, I want you guys to know this is where you before like i don't think malik i don't think malik was here yet uh, oh he was yeah malik was here so he knows about it so this is how is this up for sale right now are they selling it i, I think so but i'm not sure if it's in escrow already oh it's only in escrow oh i'm not sure but they uh, they have the money for it so i think it's probably but oh so nobody's living here right now no, no. oh this was my father-in-law's house this was my father-in-law's house and then, yeah, when he died, he gave it to his new wife. Instead of him giving it to his kids, he had seven kids. Oh, wait. Anyway, okay, I don't know if I should. Well, yeah, instead of him giving it to his seven kids, he he gives it to his new wife. And his new wife, instead of giving them the money from him, giving it to them, she's so greedy. She had a whole bunch of houses. Instead of helping them out, she's going to go around and just, oh, I can't give it to you. I don't know. It's terrible. I just think it was, I think it was the worst thing that she could have did. She should have gave it to the kids. This is their property. This is their inheritance. You know, and they lost it. So anyway, uh, thank you, ma'am. So this house is apparently is vacant, so we can kind of walk around, boy. How big, right? How big, right? Yeah, five rooms. I used to, yeah, I've lived in here. I was here because when I went on hard times, me and my kids came to stay here. That's my grandson right there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Malik, you can come around. So we can ask no, I just, what I'm doing, I'm doing a history thing. I'm doing a history of, I own my own house place right now. I'm doing a history of, I have a show, see it's called The Last of Me Is Death. And I have a show, what I'm doing also, I'm doing a history of what, where I live, so my kids, my grandkids know. I put it in my archives, so they have some history about it. You know, yeah, so, yeah, no, we lived here. We lived upstairs, my, and I was here when I had a house in escrow. I was going through some, I was going through a transition of moving from one house to another. And so we stay here while we're waiting for the transition to go through. Yeah. So they let us stay here while the house was in escrow because I had to move all my stuff. So my mother-in-law stayed here and then my mother-in-law, uh, she passed away. So, yeah, she passed away. And then, so my, who is the one it now? well, I don't know because, hey, what's up, bro? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, but uh, yeah, so, he turned around and he had the house and then he moved. He got married. He moved away and then he let his kids stay here for a while. And then he kicked them out. And then he turned around and he uh, ended up taking the house and uh, he passed away. And so his new wife ended up inheriting it. And what he should have did, he should have set it up for his kids. Yeah, he didn't do right. He didn't do right. He didn't do his kids right. I mean, that's just not right. And he, I beg pardon? They probably will. I don't know. This is a big. That's the key. Well, yeah, but you got to get good tennis too. So, Malik, you can look over here. This is the backyard. And uh, I, I, will, I can manage it for you if you want. Oh, you want to manage it? Oh, she said <laughs> you'll manage it. <laughs> I can't yeah. You manage houses? I, I am in real estate. I used to be. Oh, really? Yeah, I still, uh, Let me give her a card. Doing some, uh, I'm going to give you a card. Let me give you a card. What, what business are you in now? Well, I'm, I have my own. I have my own site that I have on YouTube. I'm actually telling people about the coronavirus. I've known about it since 1981. What is it? The coronavirus, this thing that they're talking about. Yeah. I know about it since 1981. Really? Yeah. What they're doing, they're getting people. Yeah. The sheriff's they broke in my car. I have a site. This is my site on there, and they know I play jazz. I'm gonna put in the music. I know about what's going on, so they're trying to shut me down from telling people the truth about what's really going on. Really? Yeah. What they're doing, they have these 5G towers. You know this 5G? You know what 5G is, right? Well, your phone is the fourth generation. It's gonna, it's gonna change up to the fifth generation. So 
what they're doing, it's a, it's a lot of high radiation on it. It's a higher radiation. And you know radiation is not good for you. So what's happening, the older people are, are susceptible to it. Because, if you, uh, excuse me. If you uh, say that uh, the COVID-19 COVID was here already in 1981? Well, 1981. I didn't know, I didn't know what they were, I knew, I didn't, I didn't know what they were going to do. I know that they were going to do something. I didn't know how, and wait, I knew what they were going to do, I didn't know how. But so I put it that way. Was it, uh, they, were gonna, they said they were going to keep everybody in their mm -hmm. long, uh, the way I explain everything on my tape, uh, on my site, I explain how I got the information. If, what the, if, you, if you say that, then uh, Trump will not be able to, uh, to get money from China to pay all the... Oh, <laughs> 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 will be an enemy of Trump. Well, I don't know, well, I tell you what, this thing is way bigger yeah, you know what? You're right, though. Yeah, that's something. Oh yeah. You, well, if see. You, if you tell that to, uh, but this is a, China, this, China will, will pay. But they, but you know what though? They, it's a world thing. This is a world thing. You know about the the uh, United Nations? You know what that is? Yeah. Okay. This this is a world thing that's going on. This is a new world order tactic that's happening right now. Uh -huh. They want to have chaos so they can have more control. Because what they're going to do? They're trying to make people fight this race war and all this stuff, which is really a culture war. They're having all this stuff, all this animosities and stuff that's going on. It's all behind what they're trying to force martial law. They're going to have the National Guard come out. Is that the New World Order? It's the New World Order, exactly. That's what's going on. That's what this is all about, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what's going on. They're going to, people's eyes are going to be waking up. A lot of people are starting to wake up. What, what do you think that you... I beg your pardon? Radio, radio... Um, China let them know, huh? Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people aren't talking about it because, see, I know, you know why I know? You know where the United States computer is? Yeah. The United States computer is in Indianapolis, Indiana. You know what it's called? Uh -huh. It's called SWIFT. It stands for the Second World Internal Financial Telecommunications. Wait, wait. See, see, my father was supposed to meet with, how long have you been in, 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 in the United States? Pretty much most of your life? 1985. Okay, well, my father passed away in 1984. He was supposed to be the spokesperson. You know how Paula White is to yeah. Donald Trump? Yeah. My dad is a Pentecostal pastor. He was supposed to be to Reagan, Ronald Reagan. When he was president, my father was chosen to be the spokesperson like Paula White is. Really? That's how I was affiliated. Yeah, so I have a lot of information because my father was connected. Yeah, my father was connected to. Oh, but, uh, no, well, my father, they liked him a lot. My mom was Irish. Yeah, my mom's Irish. My father's Ethiopian Jew. He spoke Hebrew and Greek. Oh, yeah? yeah, he had an earned See, theology. One of your kids will, uh, will in, will have inherited that. I don't know. I, I, don't, I think, you know. It should be in their genes. In one of the, one of the genes. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, the, the, the planet Earth is shutting down. God is shutting down things. We're, we're coming to the end. A lot of people, yeah, people don't read their Bibles. Do you know what the very first textbook in America was? It was the Bible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. David Barton is a United States historian. He'll tell you that. They took the Bible out in 1963. Have you, you know Area 51, right? Where they're talking about Area 51? Well, that's what they call the aliens are. Oh, the aliens are? That's what they say, the aliens. But they're not aliens. You know what they are? They're Nephilim. Nephilim. A Nephilim is a fallen angel from heaven. They're the angels that got kicked out of heaven. Lucifer, who's now Satan, and the angels got kicked out of heaven. That's who's down here with us. Yeah, they call them Nephilims. They're not Nephilims, they're fallen angels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you go to my site, you'll learn all this stuff. Really? Oh, yeah, I teach all this stuff on my site. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I educate you very much on the Bible. I know my father's a pastor, so I know the Bible. Oh, yeah. You know why people don't know what's going on? Because they don't read their Bible. If people were to read their Bible, a Bible is written. Let me show you. See my, hey, you got the keys? Okay, see these keys? Okay, keys. Now, these keys right here. These keys right here, they open up a door, okay? But see, I'm controlling this, right? I have to use this. This key doesn't do anything unless I make it do it. Well, that's how God was when he wrote the Bible. Man was the pencil and God was the writer. God let his son write the book that he was gonna have to know why he was here. That's what the Bible is. But it's not written by man other than him being the pencil. God controlled it. So all the words are God's because how could a man write about something that he wasn't here to see? Yeah, I know that the Bible was inspired by it's God. It's inspired by God, exactly. That's it. See, that's a good word. That means God breathed. 
God breathed. That means God controlled it. God was all about it. Man, that's good. You, that's good. She said it's that's good. Right, well, you know what? What you should be is a, you know what? Get, hey, I got to get you something, man. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you something that can save, that's going to save your life spiritually. I'm going to get it. We're back here, yeah. and if you ever want to get baptized, we'll come baptize you. We'll baptize you the way the Bible says, not the way man says it. This is the only way to be born again is this way. It's the only true way. It has all the diet. See, I tells you everything. Explains everything. Explains everything. God bless you, man. God bless you. So anyway, Malik. So we're gonna look. It's nice talking to you. So we come around here. This is where we stay, so we can see this place is up for sale, and there's nobody living in here. All right. So this is where I stay. You know, it looks like it's locked up, it's boarded up. But as you can see, Malik can pierce in there a little bit. It's an upstairs, downstairs. Can you look in there? It's upstairs, downstairs, y'all. So we stayed upstairs. And uh, it's a nice place. And I just want to make sure my grandkids kind of know where I was. These are places that we've been at, things that we went through in our life. And God was still with us no matter how bad I might have been. God was still with us. You know what? I'm going to take a little bit of this tree. It'll probably make me grow some. Anyway. Stephen Cross reporting out from Last Enemy is Death slash The Great Escape. May God bless you.